Hey everybody, welcome to week five. Um, as same as last week, my brother is passed out on the front porch, but um, that's sick music playing right now. <coughs> and um, the beginning to this vlog is going to be the story of how I got hooked on these little devils. Come on, let's go there, 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 ah, whatever. So, I would started smoking a little bit at parties because, this is in college, started smoking a little bit at parties because, as anyone who smokes can tell you, cigarettes and alcohol are like salt and pepper ham and eggs. I mean, they, they go together unbelievably, ah, oh, I missed the song I was waiting for. They go together unbelievably well. And um, so I was smoking occasionally, and then I started smoking cloves because they tasted really good. And, and, you know, a pack would last me a week. And, and, and then I, I just bought a pack that I was expecting to last into the weekend, and then 9-11 happened, and I ended up smoking the entire pack that day. And I've been hooked on nicotine ever since. So, in addition to all of the evils that those terrorist horrible motherfuckers did... Hold on one second. <laughs> In addition to all the terrible, horrible things that those those fucking evil, evil tricks did, they also got me addicted to nicotine. So thanks, Al-Qaeda. Thanks, Bin Laden. I hope that you get a bullet in the lungs just for me. Um, oh, yeah, and I wanted to mention, if you follow the, my uh, channel comments, you might have seen that um, Clue10123 um, sent me a, a new background image, and I thought it was pretty cool. It, it it's uh, basically the um, well, here, fuck it, I'll just show you. This is it right here. Um, it's I, I I think it's clever, and the fact that he knows this album is a great thing, but you know, it just didn't work with text on top of it. It doesn't work as a background image. But still, if you want to try and get a background image to me, and you want to, I mean, because if, if, if you send it to me and it works, I will post it. There's no question about that. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's my story about smoking um, and, and why I'm such a horribly addicted nicotine fiend. The alcohol, on the other hand, is just hereditary. <laughs> um, I, I come from a long line of alcoholics. And, um, I'm just looking at my fucking brother. Uh, yeah, so I think this week I don't really have a lot of things to, to ask or add. I'm doing Fable next. Period. Enough people have said do whatever. I'm doing Fable next after Dragon Age Origins. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Not sure what I'm doing after that. People are pushing for Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2, Morrowind Oblivion. We'll see. That's a long time from now, so you've got plenty of time to debate it. But I think that this week is going to mostly be made up of the cool shit that happens to be around my house. So, thanks, sit back, and enjoy week five. And there, staring right at me, is our resident eight-point buck. Oh, there he goes. Uh, and there he stops. And fear or greed, which will overcome. It never fucking fails starts to rain and everybody forgets how to fucking drive. Ugh. Okay, quick, while I'm stopped at a stoplight, before I forget the three questions that we did not get right. Number one, what was R.E.M.'s first album to debut at number one, or at least to reach number one on the charts? Number two, um, the Royal I Irish Constabulatory... Constab Constabulatory... Uh, police of well, auxiliary force. What was their nickname? If you get this right, I'll be really impressed. And number three, god damn it! Go 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 go! Yay! And number three. Oh, um, the 
the Quebec hockey team moved somewhere and changed their name, what'd they become? Yeah. We got 27 out of 30. Second place was 24 out of 30. Go us. Hello, everybody. It's an absolutely gorgeous day today, and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I think that this would probably be the best time for me to go ahead and give you the little tour of the property around here. There's just, you know, the slightly, slightly interesting bits. Um, well, for starters, just across the street here. You see that foundation there? Across the street? As of this winter, before this, back, this winter and back, there was a barn there. And um, the record-breaking snows that we had destroyed it. And so they tore it down, which was pretty fun to watch. And now they're going to build another one. And uh, and over here, you see the nice raptor pen that we have set up. That's actually to keep the deer out of our garden. We grow all sorts of stuff: corn, tomatoes, peppers. Um, we grow fantastic sweet potatoes for some reason. They get enormous. Um, really good tomatoes too which I've only just recently liked. And, uh, yeah, let's head back here. Oh, there's the porch sans screen. Which my dad is currently working on. And back here, you've got what used to be the tallest tree, well, not necessarily tallest, but definitely the biggest tree on the property. Oh, there's our solar dryer. Our solar clothes dryer, also known as a clothesline. Uh, this used to be the biggest what, biggest tree on the property until uh, we decided to take it down because it was dying. That's stacked too deep. You need to understand. That's to burn this upcoming winter. There's right next to the log splitter. And, uh, oh, here. Since I'm over here, let's show off the stump. I mean, here's my foot to give you an indication that this thing is just fucking huge. Um, yeah, let's see. Oh, and one final thing while I'm over here. The burn pile. This is all a bunch of little thin stuff, so it's going to burn huge when, uh, when the conditions are right. So, um... Uh, let's see, I'll go to the creek first, see down there. Just to give you a quick indication, the creek is all the way down there, and that is the house. So, yeah, hoping it through tall grass. And here we are. This is my creek. This has always been my creek. Even when I move out, this will still be my creek. It's, uh, well, <laughs> had some pretty crazy storms recently, so it's no surprise there's branches down everywhere. But you see that tunnel right there that the creek's flowing through? That's because that berm, that hill right up there, actually used to have a railroad running down it. The uh, WNOD, Washington and Old Dominion Railroad, that went from uh, D.C. all the way out to uh, Winchester, which, if you care to look on a map, you can find pretty easily. Pretty much the uh, one of the larger towns outside of uh, the D.C. area. In fact, I think it's the city. But anyways, yeah, and so when they were building the railroad, they put that, uh, that tunnel through there. And I have never actually been inside of that tunnel, nor do I think I ever will. It's just, my parents raised me to be afraid of it, and um, <laughs> it worked. But yeah, I don't know if you can tell just how low the creek is right now, just because it's been so fucking dry this summer. But uh, yeah. That's the creek. Now on the other side of the property, way the, and see there's the house way back there. Now for the other side of the property, the well. See you there. And here we are. This little cosp, copse of trees here. We've got, looks like nothing, right? We've got an old well. Oh wow, it's actually Way more full than I would have expected. I can actually see the bot, see the water level. You can't, but I can. Let's see. If... Brought on a few rocks since 
all the ones immediately surrounding it have already been thrown in by us years ago. Except for these big ones covering it up so nobody falls in. But yeah, um, I'm not entirely sure. I, and this well has got to be really fucking old. I don't know what used it. I, there used to be a barn over there that um, blew over in a, during a blizzard when I was like one year old. But uh, I guess maybe this was for that. But I don't know. But yeah. See, there's the house back there now on the other side. And yeah, that's pretty much uh, all the interesting little bits from back here. I'd take you down the path in the woods that I cut, but I haven't cut it, been down it in several years. And I imagine it's completely overgrown by, by now. I should go through there with a machete again. I haven't done that in a long time. Oh well, anyways. Yeah, that's the interesting bits of our property. And, um, the hell? So a crossbow? I'm not sure what that is. Well, I found it, and I'm going to throw it away. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I'm going to go check myself for ticks now. And to end the week, booyah, showed up in the mail over the past couple days, um, awakenings, and of course, oblivion. Of course, the one that I need to install and practice on, get used to the new controls, Fable, hasn't shown up yet, because that's the way things go. See you all next week.